Nvidia, probably one of the most popular AI tech stocks right now in the US market, has delivered a set of impressive results, right? Strong earnings, revenue, and profits. So where are we right now? Can there actually be more upside as we head further into 2024? Hey guys, Joey here, top tier Mizeo, Trader in Philips Securities. And in this video, we'll be diving into NVIDIA, stock code NVDA. We look at some of the news that have came out, what are some of the earnings results, and you know what has happened. And we look at the charts as well in a bit, right? Where are we right now? What is the trend like? What are some of the new support levels that have came out? And if upside targets can be revised higher. So if you want to know what to do on the video, whether it's too late to get it or it's still early, all right, watch this video all the way to the end without I'll show you um, the charts and discuss that as well, right? So right now, let's go ahead to take a look at the news that have came out in the past day on NVIDIA impressive results. You can see right over here on the Straits Times, NVIDIA adds $372 billion in stock market value in Wall Street's biggest one day gain in history. So the stock price has surged up by 16.4% in one day. Market value wise, that is like a US $277 billion. Pretty much the, you know, the largest one day gain in history in terms of market value. And it is a play on what we call artificial intelligence, AI. So a lot of companies out there, huge companies, need the products from NVIDIA, right, whereby it's producing those chips and there's huge demand for this product. So it comes like close at US $785, a record high close. Later, we look at the chart to see where can we potentially head to next. What are the new targets? The rise in NVIDIA's market value has eclipsed the entire value of Coca-Cola at $265 billion. So now NVIDIA, I would say, is one of the most valuable companies in the world right now. You can see that uh, it has made NVIDIA the US stock market third most valuable company, pulling ahead of Amazon and Google parent Alphabet, all right, after being with them for about the past few weeks, right? And you can see it is now behind Microsoft and Apple valued at about US 3.06 trillion and US 2.85 trillion, pretty much Wall Street's two most valuable company. So NVIDIA has reported that its revenue in its fourth quarter more than tripled, right, from a year earlier to US $22.1 billion. More than tripled, guys, and profit soared nearly nine four nine times to US $12.3 billion. So this revenue was well above the US $20 billion that the company predicted in November and also above Wall Street estimates. So that's the reason why we saw NVIDIA soaring up by 16.4% in just one day, bringing the market value of the stock to the top three most valuable company in the US. NVIDIA co-founder and CEO Jensen Huang have said that you know, accelerated computing and generative AI have hit the tipping point, right? And demands is surging worldwide across companies and industries and nations. So pretty much all companies that is going into the AI phase would need NVIDIA products and there's huge demand. And what he's saying is that, you know, we are one year into generative AI, right? And my guess is that we are literally into the first year of a 10 year cycle of spreading this technology into every single industry. So every single industry eventually moves to AI, they need to upgrade their chips, their computer, their servers, and they need NVIDIA products. So I like this quote in the article, right? The people who made the most money in the gold rush of the mid 1800s were the ones providing the tools to get the job done, not those hunting for the precious metal, not those hunting for the gold. And that's effectively what NVIDIA is doing right now, is playing the same role uh, today in this tech revolution, this AI phase, where many of companies in the world would need its products in order to move into AI, all right, to move much faster. So NVIDIA is now trading at about US $785, all right? And you know, there could potentially be more upside. So let's take a look at the charts right now. But before I do that, I want to share with you guys this video whereby, you know, I talk about NVIDIA just a year back in February 2023, whereby we broke a certain key level. So that was where, you know, I mentioned whereby there could really be more upside. And I shared this with some of my Inner Circle members and my mentees as well and some of my graduates. So let's take a look at this very short video before we look at where we are right now for NVIDIA, all right? How far we have gone and more importantly, what can we do right now? NVIDIA actually was one of those stocks that has been in my watch list for a while. We may have found a little bit of a bottom. We broke the 200, went down, we tested, went down, we tested, went down again. So 200 was a very, very critical psychological resistance level. Over the past week, good news, this is a good thing, right? We managed to come back above 
that 200. We broke down one, two, three, all right, four, we nearly came back. Well, four or five times, it just went below it. Finally, we are 211, which is above 200, which is a good thing, all right, which is a good thing. It just shows that there are some signs of strength. There are some signs of the uptrend starting to take shape, not entirely confirmed yet, but starting to take shape. I think NVIDIA is one of those that we are actually looking at. Because anything above 200, so let me just change this line to green in color, right? So the 200 was a resistance. I mean, it was a support the resistance. Now it has turned back to a support as long as we stay above 200. Are you guys following me so far? All right. So 211. So anything above 200, like you can go to 205 or 202 or 208 or whatever. All right. If we stay above 200, that is a good thing. That is where the upside can happen all the way to, all the way to like 280. And maybe there's one of those that we like as well. So yeah, anything above 200, I think it looks quite good, all right? Okay guys, welcome back. We are back to the present right now. And that was NVIDIA, as I mentioned, just shared last year on the 4th of Feb, 2023, all right? So we will ride above that 200 level I mentioned. We broke above the 200, and that's when I mentioned that there could really be more upside. It is the start of the uptrend. So let's see where we are right now as of today's date, which is like uh, 23rd of February 2024, right? So that was just last year. Now it's a new year, all right? And let's see where we are right now. Let me just scroll the chart to the left. You can see that from where we were then last year, it has just pushed higher and higher and higher and higher. And this is where we are right now for NVIDIA. As I mentioned, we are at $785, which is the close yesterday at 16.4% up. It shot up due to these very strong earnings results. And we are now at 785.3. So it's a huge rise. I mean, just from a year back when we were here, I would say it is a 271.4% rise. All right, so what should we be doing right now? So first thing first, I mentioned that previously last year that we were you know, seeing some signs of the uptrend. So let me just go into analyze this stock for you. You can see that the uptrend was actually confirmed after breaking that $200 level right here. You can see, as I mentioned, right, we were right here. We went above the 200. We talked about it. And uh, one month later, right, about one month later or a few weeks later, we managed to see the 100 days moving average, right? The red line's 100 days moving average. It crossed above the blue line, which is the 200 days moving average. So we were actually a bit of a downtrend, you know, in 2022 due to rate hikes and inflation, but somewhere around like February, March last year, 2023, the uptrend actually started, right? There was some confirmation that came, as I mentioned, we wanted to seek more confirmation. It came, all right, and of course, we were still above the 200, and it just really started to push up and up. And we actually saw what we call a little bit of a consolidation for about six to seven months right over here all right and i mentioned to some of my inner circle members as well you can see that that was where we consolidated from that four hundred dollars look at this one time two time three time four time we were just you know supported above 400 buyers came back up and we rebounded all the way to near 500 right 500 would be this resistance the psychological resistance level as well right over here two times one time, two times, three times, and we were just moving up and down with the $100 range from 400 to 500 until right over here, you can see that on the 8th of January this year, finally, we broke that 500 psychological resistance level. And you can see that we have really staged a very strong recovery from 8th of Jan all the way to 16 of Feb, more than a month of it going up, up, up. And we saw some profit taking, and yesterday it started to short even higher based on the results. So what could be the new upside targets? Now they have broken to a new record high. So if you look at right where we are right now, you can see we are $785. Uh, you look at the past, we are pretty much at an all-time record high. It's a multi-year high, all right? It's what we call ATH, all-time high, all right? And there's nothing to look at from the past because we are already at a high, all right? So how can we tell the next upside target as well? Let me just go to analyze where we are right now. So you can see that over the past, I would say one, two weeks for NVIDIA, we actually were consolidating below this slight resistance level, about the $750. Look at this, right? One, two, three, about five to six days, we were just you know, touching it and coming back down. And that was kind of like the temporary resistance level that we have broke through. Yesterday, we went above $750. I mean, we are $785, which is above $750. So that's where there could be more upside momentum, right, in the short term. And we can see that we were actually consolidating from here as well. So from like $650, 
right to about 750 right so somehow you can see that for for nvidia it tends to do the 100 dollar range as i mentioned previously uh, for six seven months in june last year all the way to uh, january this year we was doing from 400 to 500 we broke the 500 it shot all the way up hit resistance at 750 came back down to near 650 so it's a hundred dollars range again so let me just show it for you that was kind of like the 100 dollars range we broke, it went up to here. So potentially now we might start to push higher. We might start to push higher, all right? And we may find a resistance maybe at around the 900 to 1. Thousand dollars. I think one thousand would be a psychological uh, resistance level. All right, that's a huge resistance level. It's a psychological level. So that's why we could see some heavy profit taking. So you want to take some profit near one thousand, that could happen. But I think once it hits to one thousand or maybe near nine hundred, we might start to consolidate in what we call that one hundred dollar range. Look at this one hundred dollar range, one hundred dollar range. The range might happen around here or maybe happen about here. All right, but I think anything near one thousand dollars, that's where some profit taking can happen again. So for me right now, we we'll say that this $750, as I mentioned, right, the temporary resistance level that we have broke above would now be what we call the support level. Remember this last year, I talked about the 200 level, right? Where we broke above the 200, we stayed above it, the uptrend has just started, uh, that's where it can push higher. So same thing now, this $750, right, which was the resistance over the past two weeks would turn into a support level from resistance in turn into a support like how 200 became from a resistance to a support level because now we are much much higher right so this 750 would be a support level and upside targets you know for me i think personally it would be anything from i mean all the way to 900 to a thousand dollars as i say right over here i'm not too sure exactly where but anything above 750 there could be more upside momentum we might hit to 900 to 950 to 1000 uh, 1000 would be a much much stronger resistance whereby more heavy selling can come back so you take some profit as i mentioned that would be fine as well so once it consolidates it hits the resistance it starts moving up and down uh, we may see this range happening again swing up and down all right and then pump break up we may move up a little bit might consolidate pump it breaks 1000 great it can push up to a next higher phase again yep so that is my analysis on nvidia and vda right now i think we can hold above the new 750 support level it is still pretty bullish right in terms of the trend as well um just by looking at the short term trend of course the longer term trend as i mentioned since last year it was up it has, it has still been up uh, right over here you can see 100 days above the 200 days moving average it's still pointing up but for the short term trend we want to look at what we call the 20 days moving average you can see this green line it is still pointing up so we are still seeing some upside or in terms of the short term trend it is still looking quite positive so I'm taking this opportunity to share with you guys this service that is called The Monthly A. So basically this is a premium service whereby we share some of the top US stocks on a monthly basis in a live call at the last Saturday of every single month for like about one and a half hours to two hours. So every single month there'll be two new US stocks and in the portfolio right now, uh, there's like more than 20 over stocks. You actually get access to this secret Google sheet that has more than 20 over stocks just like NVIDIA right now. There's gone up by more than 50, 80% in the past one year alone. So if you're into US stocks, you want to find out, you know, uh, winning stocks, not just NVIDIA, but many other stocks like that as well, that they, they might be in the AI space, they might not be, they might be in other sectors as well. You want to join this service. So I've just placed the link below this video as well. Uh, you, get us to you get to join us in the live call end of the month, all right? And you get to ask questions, you get access to this portfolio of more than 20 over stocks, but you can hold and, uh, you know, to double or maybe even triple your portfolio in the next two or three years, right? And that's where we have done all the research and hard work for you. And you do have to do that. And we also cover kind of like a quick uh, market commentary in terms of the market outlook every single live call. All right. And you can ask questions. There'll be Q&A as well. So the link is right below, guys. If you're into US stocks, you want to know what are some of the top stocks to actually have in your portfolio to write more upside. And when you get out as well, uh, check out this service. All the details are in this page right here. So I've placed the link below this video. Do check it out. And right now for this survey, it is at $97 a month. It's a 50% discount, all right? So we are running this offer. Cancel anytime, $97 a month, Singapore dollars. And you get your access to this service. So go into this page, click on it. You can find all the details. And I look forward to share with you in the live call some of the top 20 over US stocks that you definitely want to consider. 
having in your portfolio as well, just like NVIDIA, which has already been in there. So let's take a look at maybe uh, my system. So I have a system called One GT. It's kind of like a web-based software that alerts us on winners like this and also guides us on entry and exit, right? Where selling can potentially happen as well. All right, so let's dive into this system and see what it says. So guys, if you like this video so far, you've gained some value, I would appreciate it. you can give me a like, hit the thumbs up button, and even hit the subscribe or follow button so that you will not miss out on videos like this. And thank you so much for doing that. Really appreciate it, all right? So let's move on to the system right now. So I have a web-based software called One GT. In short, that is One Good Trend, which is the strategy that I've been using pretty much the backbone behind this system, right? So you can see that for NVIDIA, right over here since like last year, this is like end of 2022, it was a bit of a downtrend. Look at this trend trend bars red in color from red we turn to green as i mentioned there were some signs of the trend turning up and we started having bullish signal so this is what we call green arrow pointing up it's a bullish entry signal bullish entry signal so every time you got a bullish entry signal it starts pushing higher higher all right we were consolidating and as i mentioned from 400 to 500 there was uh, pretty much six months of it consolidating uh, from June all the way to like January. And we got bullish signals coming out as we headed to the support level as well. And finally, as I just mentioned, right, this $500 level right here on the 8th of Jan, where we broke above that 500 resistance level. And that's where we got a new bullish entry signal, a green arrow pointing out because it was really a bit of an uptrend then. And we just shot up, 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 up. And we got this exit that came out just a few days back right over here. So this exit kind of like, you know, show us that there's some selling pressure. As I mentioned, 750 was a bit of a resistance, a temporary one whereby you know, sellers are actually coming out. So that's where we got an exit signal. So the market is just closed. So we have not got this new bar whereby we broke above the 750. But I would say that we might actually see a new bullish signal coming out, which can guide us to ride the rally, as I mentioned, all the way to 900 to $1,000. And if we do see an exit coming out, out, that could guide us to get out as well because that's where some profit taking has returned. All right, so this is NVIDIA on my One GT system. So guys, if you want to find out a little bit more on like the One Good Trend strategy, right? Pretty much the whole entire framework of this system or maybe how you can have access to a system like this to guide you on entry and exit. You can attend one of our free webinars. I'll just place the link below. Click on the link, register for this free live webinar on Zoom where I'll share with you a little bit more. It's a two hours webinar. All right, I'll share with you more on the entire strategy and we'll dive a little bit deeper before sharing with you some of the case studies we have, some of the stocks that you might be looking at as well. You can just type the name of the stocks into the system to see what it says as well. So you can find out more, click on the link to register and I'll see you live at the webinar. So yeah, I think that's it for NVIDIA. All right, pretty much we have gone through uh, the news, the earnings result that came out, why it has surged up by 16.4% in one day, putting it as a top three uh, largest market cap stock in the US. And we look at the charts as well for NVIDIA. Uh, where we are right now, I talk about the upside targets, some of the new support levels like the 750, and we have looked at the system as well, whereby we had a couple of a bullish signals, right? Not just last month, or you know, but since last year, since the beginning of last year, uh, whereby I covered this stock as well. So I hope you like this video, and you are now much clearer on Nvidia, NBDA, and let's see how it goes. Joey here. I'll see you in the next video or in the live webinar. Take care.